I'm here on my home of Dartmoor on the common checking the ponies and the sheep and the cows that graze here. Um, we, we've been farming on the moor for generations and all of that is under threat due to an amendment in the House of Lords to the environmental bill which would remove common rights from the land and from the indigenous people that farm it and take it back into control of the state. Now people have been farming Dartmoor since the Bronze Age. There's a hut circle there where early settlements used to be and common rights were first recognised in law in the Magna Carta in 1215 or something like that, long time since I was at school. Um, and all of this is under threat due to an amendment in the House of Lords. Now everything on the moor, the whole landscape, the birds, the wildlife is under threat due to the removal of stock. All the livestock here has created the whole environment. Everything is here because of the livestock. The way they browse and forage has led to the open heather moorland that you see. What are that? Good morning from a wet, wild North Wales. Um, Yesterday and the day before, um, I've had a few messages about this new amendment in the Environmental and Agricultural Bill, and it's been a little bit worrying. You know, at this point, it wouldn't affect Wales, but there's a lot of commons in England that are very similar, similar to what we do up here. A lot of families were so dependent on these commons, so. In the summer months, we turn our sheep onto the uplands to graze because the grass and the flora and fauna grows a lot there. And then we're in the lowlands or in the lower ground, then we can lift silage and hay um, to feed our animals over the winter. And, you know, we've got ponies up on our moor that are there all year round. And some areas, some commons have different grazing um, agreements have different grazing rights for cows and and we've just got sheep and um, ponies on our uh, heft here on our um, common. The worrying thing for me is there's always something behind governments and um, politicians when they push these things forward. I, I'd like to find out um, the reason to put this forward. Um, and why they would be controlling it and why would they take the rights of the people that have had them for centuries and these rights go back to the Magna Carta I know it was in 1967 we registered the rights with each farm and each farm has the rights that stay with the land and that's important for us to remember as well because um, I don't think we should have the rights to sell our grazing rights off to anybody else it should stay with the land and that makes for the next family that comes here a sustainable future for them now my conspiracy theory my soapbox is um, and this might sound a little bit mad but I think we should look into this a little bit deeper I'm not sure which political party has put this amendment forward so um, we'll look into that and if anybody can answer it please do but the thing I'm thinking is we're looking at big companies now that are offsetting carbon and they're offsetting carbon by either buying land, uplands are absolutely amazing at storing carbon. You know, the Kevin Heather mountain range behind me here is storing millions, millions of tons of carbon in its peat and in its different habitats and its blanket bogs. Have government seen that these commons could be a cash cow for them, literally? So they are taking back them rights. So maybe in the future, the Bill Gates, the Richard Bransons, the shells of this world can offset some of their carbon footprint onto these commons by either rewilding or taking the number of livestock 
down. It's just something that came to my mind last night and it is worth looking into because cash is king for these people and they will rob the poor to make the rich richer and that is a definite fact and they will do this in a, a lot of different ways and hopefully the power of the people will shout out for the commoners for us the people that work on these areas making sure that these habitats are kept at their best for the flora and fauna and for the wildlife and don't forget as well we are producing food from these areas marginal land that wouldn't be any good really for anything else let's protect our livelihoods let's protect the future of these commons for future generations anyway it's pouring it down i think i'm going to have a lovely cup of coffee and a bit of to toast with mrs j living the dream